नमस्ते सभी को गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम सो वी आर ऑन एक्सरसाइज टू ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी बाय द सेल्फ इन स्टेप वन वी वर ट्राइंग टू सी दैट आई एम देयर द सेल्फ अ यूनिट ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस एंड द बॉडी इज आल्सो देयर द बॉडी इज अ मटेरियल यूनिट सो बोथ ऑफ दीज are in existence both are existential realities they do exist in step 2 we were trying to see this interaction that is there between the self and the body we were trying to see that we are giving some instructions to the body the self is giving some instructions to the body whichever it thinks is important at that time and this is in the form of information in the body many sensations are taking place there are many events going on so there are sensations that are there sensation is also an information i the self reads those sensations that i think are important i taste those sensations and on the basis of them then i come to give some meaning to it come to some decision and then give the instruction so this interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information no physiochemical thing is passed between the two it is only exchange of information in step 3 we were trying to see who is the one who is deciding who is the one deciding to give the instructions to the body or to read specific sensations from the body so even though in the second step we were talking about this interaction take it as a proposal until you see it for yourself who is giving the instruction to the body who is reading the sensation is it the self or the body and i think we may be able to see that i am the one who is deciding about the instructions that i want to give to the body i am the one who is choosing to read specific sensations from the body as and when i want to based on whatever i think is important to me the question that i have it is uh, like uh, because we are doing this all this activities uh, one thing i have made a note within myself is like uh, until unless we don't write it on the paper the processing the self has so many activities to do that when we want to express it directly without putting down on the paper then there is a jumbling of the words whereas if you put on the paper and then try to express uh, like is it always necessary that uh, whatever feelings or th- uh, i can say that the thoughts are there that we have to use the physical body so largely the thoughts for the thought we do use the body mm-hmm. but when it comes to the level of feeling and above above means the higher activities within the self you may not need to use the body for those especially when it comes to thoughts linked to like you're saying no doing the work for the nap or doing computation or some sort of thing like that usually in the meetings if you see the cup of tea it's automatically the brain process okay i'll be awake in the meeting and you'll be more active this is something the uh, we we use our sense and this is what our self will be making a decision this is also an observation when we do the activity it yeah, does when we don't really recognize the potential of the self Mm. try to influence the self through the body and yes. we keep doing that some caffeine or tea or something you can stay mm. awake 
what are you trying to do? You're trying to put some chemicals in the body so that there is some sort of stimulation and therefore it can have some impact on the self. For a self that, you know, the potential is so much more than this. When we don't see that, then we keep trying to impact the self like this by trying out different things on the body. But if you turn it the other way around, you will notice that when the self wants, is motivated, it can go beyond this impact of the body and in fact not get influenced at all by the body. So that potential is there in each and every one. But right now we may not be seeing it or we may not be paying attention to that. But as and when the whole process here is, that's why, you know, exercise one, we are observing the self first. If you understand the self and you can understand or you can start seeing, observing the activities in the self, then you can also see that you are the decision maker. You decide your thoughts, you decide your feelings. Now we are trying to see with that background what the interaction is with the body. So it's the same thing, but now one more reality, the body we are taking into consideration and now we see. So for instance, you know, the tea coffee keeps you awake. You say, mm. of course, there is some impact on the body, but the self can go beyond this. The self, yes. you know, need not be influenced by this. For instance, yes. even now, supposing you take tea and you may be taking it every day, right? It has some impact on the body. As you keep doing this, you might notice that the impact that the same amount of tea used to have earlier is not having that same impact now. Or you need to have more. If you decide that you don't, you really want to pay attention, even without the tea, you will find you can do it. So many preconditionings and because we have not been paying attention to the self, we tend to go through the body for everything. Think that if you do this to the body, then this will happen to the self. Right now, this is how it is being said, right? You put in this and such and such medication, you put in such and such hormone, and you can feel happy or you mm -hmm. feel different. Certainly, there is some impact on the body, and that impact will have some effect on a self which is just with the lower activities but as the self starts seeing the potential and starts taking you know paying attention to the inside to the higher activities one can go beyond this impact of the chemicals on the body also one question is, um, if we don't give uh, attention to certain cycles of bodily sensation, like sometimes we are in the work and then um, and then we ignore to ignore the bodily sensations, like regarding nature's call or all those. I mean, you have a control over it in some sense, whether you can choose yeah. to respond or not, but it affects in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So... Um, the question is like, uh, does the ability of sometimes if you don't give attention to this, tend to ignore uh, the mm -hmm. bodily sensations, the uh, body also then doesn't pro provide those sensations effectively. Is it the mm -hmm. body's effect or is it the self effects of the observation? I mean, when sometimes you tend to ignore the hunger, the hunger sensation doesn't come that strongly. Uh, second question is like there are certain routine certain cycles which we observe sometimes they become a habit generally if you have set a routine and in the night say 9 30 10 you feel sleepy our cycle that we tend to wake up body is also fresh and so is it bodily cycle also or mind cycle and um, 
so similar there are th- things i mean typically tea tea time is there in the organization and people send i mean at 3:30 people desire tea it's of course habit of the self but uh, sometimes it's like comes as a sensation also bodily <laughs> regarding the bowel movements so in the morning some people have habit they tend to form a habit that if i don't drink a tea then i don't go to the and so typically the question is how the mechanism of this habit for these two have to be understood as distinct entities if you look at the body hmm. it is time bound isn't it yes yes it is also bound by the cycles in nature because it is part of this material just like if you look at plants outside when the sun comes up the leaves open up isn't it sun goes yes. down the leaves close this yes. you can observe very clearly easily so like that if you start noticing if we understand the body we will find that these kind of changes keep happening in the body also cyclic changes just as in nature there are these cycles the day and night mm. cycle the seasonal cycle the years you know annual cycles so all of these have some impact on the body when it yeah. comes to the self the self is not time bound so the self you know has the potential not to be impacted by this but when it comes to the body the body doesn't have a choice in this matter what we keep saying no the recognition and fulfillment in the material mm. unit is definite in the body it is definite so this is what it is that the body is recognizing fulfilling its relationship with them in a very definite manner so mm. you find that um, just as in the environment you can see that in the morning it is cool as the sun comes up and it is hot it is heated up everything gets heated up isn't it thing happens in the body one indicator of that is the digestive fire so the digestive fire also peaks at noon around the time when the sun is up so now if i don't give the body food i have been say i have been giving food to the body around that time every day and so there is some secretion in the body some formation of acid to receive that food that i am putting yeah. in the body isn't it if i choose not to give the body food at that time now if i have no thought of food if i don't impact this in any way perhaps you know the digestive fire may be you know there and may be a little amount yeah. of acid secretion may be there to try to you know because it is happening every day but if it doesn't happen the body doesn't complain it dies down don't give it food the body goes along with it isn't it it might have that and also now when the self gets involved in this process the self can have some thoughts of it you will notice you know even that simple so now also you can see that if you start thinking about certain foods you might have salivation so now what is the thing it's not about the body right you are your mind is thoughts are leading to this isn't it the two are, if we keep Link. the two separate we will see that in the body the recognition and fulfillment is definite yes. in the self it is based on assuming so if i assume it is time for a meal i might start having the thoughts of the meal and that might trigger the salivation that might also trigger the acid secretion and so many things yes. in the body the body will just go along with your choice Uh, but the whole thing is like you are mentioning no you decide not to eat for one meal 
two meals yes. whatever it is now if you want you can go for but yes. i mean if i really understand the body and i understand you know what is my purpose then i will also understand that i need to take care of the body so i will give it the right kind of food food that is nurturing for it from time to time as and when required yeah then i will pay attention to not eating junk not overeating not eating all the time and so on yes so all those choices that we make we are the one giving instructions to the body but the body has its, its own, own structure also is limited by the cycles in nature definitely yes. and it is time bound so if we are not understanding these cycles and if we go you know against all of this then it will certainly have some impact on the body so when we understand the cycles in nature and we make the body move along with those or at least give the instructions to the body according to those cycles then the body can be maintained in better health for longer time so if it is time for you know at night when the digestion is weaker the digestive fire is weaker in the evening in the body that time if i give a full meal to the body at 10 o'clock at night body cannot digest it so i may choose to eat a big platter at night but if the body can't digest it it can't digest it now it will sit there and it will cause bloating and gas and all kinds of issues these two have to be understood separately oh. yes. and if my purpose is clear then why would i want yes. to do that you mentioned the bowel movement normally happens in the body that the body is tuned to the natural cycles now in the natural cycle just as the you know as the day advances the heat element rises and yes. so when the say the sun comes up it is hot you notice that if you leave something out in the sun it dries up same yes. thing happens in the body so the bowel movement which is inside which needs to come out of the body because it is got stuff which is not useful for the body it is in fact harmful to keep it in the body now it needs to come out at a proper time now if it doesn't say you sleep late you sleep till 10 o'clock in the morning and you wake up and you go to the toilet you may not be able to empty the bowels fully now things have dried up inside somewhere around uh, early in the morning when there is dryness in the environment the the cool the air wow. quality is different at that time if you drink some warm water it is useful for the body there is a natural um, increase in circulation in the intestines and this tends to move um the stuff in the intestines down yes this is you know as a part of its mm-hmm. normal self organization so if i understand that then i can give it some warm water and it will help in moving the things down so that the bowel movement may happen with ease Absolutely. and if i don't if i ignore all these you know like when you are traveling or if you are in some place where you are not able to go to the toilet and so you can hold you can uh, avoid going to the toilet and so on once in a while it's okay but if you continue to do this again and again and again the body um, you know like how when the rectum gets filled with um, yes material that has to be excreted it gives some sensation now if it if every time you are continually doing this as a habit who has created the habit i have created the habit the body will go along with it now it is so used to being stretched all the time that sensation is not something that 
can be registered by me or i am not pay, you know i may not be able to yeah. pay attention to it because it is now doesn't seem that intense because i am not able to pay attention to it because every day it was happening like this so then it seems like the body has stopped sending any sensation also and i stop i don't pay attention so it leads to chronic constipation and piles and so many other things the yeah. prakriti or the body constitution also can have some impact on a self which is uh yes. you know at the lower activities Correct. but once your you know the self is a little more evolved it can overcome these effects yes. of the body constitution okay even now you can see like a simple thing that we were talking about you know you eat a heavy meal you feel drowsy and sleepy so you yeah. choose not to eat a heavy meal it's that simple but if you draw attention to the self you will find that the self has many more capabilities mm-hmm. it's far more subtle and the subtle has control over the gross rather than the other way around you have to be able to see those subtle activities within yourself then you can certainly have so the decisions what we were talking about regarding this exchange of information between me and the body they are entirely mine this is something that we have to try to observe within us that i am taking the decision to give the instruction and i am the one who is choosing to read specific sensations in the body just like we were discussing a little while ago so i interact with the body as and when i require many a time you will find that you are sitting by yourself perhaps not doing anything really with the body or even say you go lie down to go to sleep now you may be very busy with your own thoughts all day say something happened in the day that is disturbing you and you are thinking about that now are you interacting with the body you may not even be aware of the body the body is just lying in the bed you may not even be aware of it and you are just busy with yourself and your thoughts so you'll notice that you interact with the body from time to time not continuously we have to try to observe this in ourselves and the body acts according to the instruction that i give it so like we were talking you know it is time for food i give the instruction to the body um you know to get up go take the food put it in the mouth and to it and all of that and so the body acts according now it is time for the food i choose not to give it food because say i have decided to keep a fast that day the body goes along with it so the body acts according to whatever instruction i give to it and i use the body as per my decision so i am using the body like a tool or as an instrument for whatever i think i need to use it for i am the one who is deciding what to do what not to do so at the level of the self if we see we already said this and we discussed this and observed this in exercise 1 that i decide my feeling my thought my expectation it is up to me i choose to have whatever feeling i have and based on that thoughts expectation at the level of the body wherever my involvement is required i give instruction to the body according to whatever work i want to take from the body so when i don't want to take work from the body i don't interact with the body i don't give any specific instructions the body will do according to whatever instruction i give to it 
So I'm operating the body as per my decision. I'm using the body like an instrument. When it comes to the sensations that uh, are there in the body, what I receive through the sense organs of the body, what I, you know, whatever sensations there are, I use the taste from the sensation to decide what is to be done with the body and what is to be done with the outside world. All of this, who is doing, I am doing. So, supposing I hear say many voices, sounds. Now we are listening to Zoom. You are hearing my voice. You may also be hearing so many other sounds. Some vehicles going, some maybe birds chirping, other sounds. So you decide which sensation to pay attention to. You decide what to do with that. You decide which sound you want to pay attention to. And then accordingly, you pay attention to that. But the sensations, many may be there. So ultimately, I am choosing what to do. I am tasting the sensation also. And I am deciding based on that and then giving some instruction to the body. So we'll continue this observation about who is deciding. Is it the body that's deciding or I'm deciding? When I feel compelled to read the sensation, try to see closely. When you feel that, you know, it is time for food. When you feel you want to drink a cup of tea to stay awake, I have to drink coffee. Am I compelled? Is the body deciding or am I deciding? What is happening? Just we'll try to see this in a little more detailed. One clarification. It's like when we think about any speed or anything else, uh, then the saliva goes. Uh, mm -hmm. It starts. Is it unawareness or it is uh, automatic? Yeah, see. Automatic makes it look like I have no control over this and it's just happening. Isn't it? But if I'm thinking about it, now I, my thoughts have gone to the extent of, you know, perhaps what I felt like when I ate it last time and all of that. Now somewhere this is having some impact on the body. But I can choose not to have that, right? Not to go into that thought, it sort of means focus on that thought or focus on the taste and so on. 